Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I was very kindly sent some products to review from Designs by V Nail Art. So thank you so much for reaching out to me. Um, and basically I'm gonna be showing you these um, shell sort of nail stickers. I mean, isn't that one just so gorgeous? Well, they're all gorgeous, but that one in particular, I really, really like. Um, and also I've got these, um, I'm going to say shell pebbles because that's easier, but the actual name of them is on the screen. Um, and obviously due to the fact that it's a real shell, the thickness and size of each piece will vary. And I think it very much is taken from this kind of shell, which is absolutely stunning. Like it doesn't look anything on the one side, but turn it over and wow, look at all those colors. It's almost like oil slick. So. I'm going to get straight on into my design now. So all details of any products used and links will be in the description box below. So I've gone ahead and applied the Kiki London Nude Polish and I'm going to be applying this dry, um, well it's not really dry, but the um, this sort of gel nail art from She Modern. And basically I'm going to apply it and that will be cured in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I'm going to be applying this gorgeous chameleon glitter on top of it. So it's gold glitter. It's called Paparazzi. And these are their small, sorry, their older bottles. The newer bottles are much thinner. I'm going to be using my go-to brushes, which are Divine by Natasha Lee. So this is her glitter brush. And obviously the fan brush. And these are limited edition brushes as well. So be sure to check at her website if you want to get your hands on these. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to be applying the um, glitter. Now, I hadn't even opened the shell uh, stickers, so I was unaware. I was kind of thinking that they were going to be really thin and I'd just stick it on like a normal nail sticker. So that's why I used this fan brush. I didn't want lots of glitter being at the bottom of the nail because I didn't want it like sticking through and affecting the sticker. But as you'll see when I open the shell stickers, that's not really an issue. <laughs> um, because the shell stickers are not quite what I expected. So I'm just going to seal all this in now with a top coat and again cure that in my lamp. It will be 30 seconds uh, for an LED and 2 minutes for a UV lamp. So I am using, I'm just going to be using this shell sticker because I was going to kind of like use multiple stickers and kind of blend them together but I'm, I'm just not going to be able to to be honest. So I'm going to open this up. So they are self-adhesive backing, which is really handy, but it is a strange texture really, because it's not like a normal nail sticker. It kind of like, it is thin as you can see, but it kind of like, it kind of cracks and breaks as you move it. Not ridiculously, I don't know if you can see the cracks already in it. It's kind of almost like a fiberglass, I think. So it is, it's not, what you think when you think of nail sticker that's what i'm trying to say but hope but hopefully you know it's going to be easy to work with so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to decide where i want to put this so obviously this is a shell design but i'm actually using this to be the ocean in my design which i thought was quite cool actually to kind of use it as something a bit different so you know because it's got all these different colors and swirls i thought it'd be really good to do like the you know looking down on the ocean like on a beach so i've kind of done like a bit of a wavy line now and then i'm going to take off the um backing and um it is quite sticky as well so i'm just gonna place it down where i want it now and I'm just sort of going to fold it in on itself. I'm trying not to mess with it too much because obviously the excess stuff I can cut off and reuse. So I'm just going to cut now down the side of the nail on both sides. And like I say, because it's got this plastic backing or whatever it is, you can pull it back on there and those bits can be saved for another date. Um, so I don't know whether you can see or not, like you can see the thickness. It's not really thick, but you are going to have to work with it and, um, you know, file over the top of it. So it's going to be OK if you're working with it, you know, with like a rubber top coat or something like that, where you, you are going to be able to file it down afterwards. 
So I'm going to get as much off as possible, but it like it does lie quite flat on the on the nail considering um what it's like. So that was I was impressed with that. But just be careful not to overly maneuver it because you can see that it does crack and things like that. So this is the rubber top coat that I'm going to be using from Kiki London. Obviously this is um thicker than a normal gel top coat and that's why I'm using it. It's kind of like a like a builder gel in a bottle type thing. So I'm applying a nice thick layer and obviously I want to gather it a little bit on that like line where I've put the sticker just so I've got you know some extra top coat to work with basically for filing it down. So I'm going to have cured that and I'm going to just go ahead and apply another coat because obviously I don't want to file too you know down and then, then it affects the sticker. So I'm actually just using a buffer this is the Kiki London buffer and basically you just want to go over the nail you can use like a normal file or an e-file if you want to do this quickly um but you just want obviously like I say go over that section where you kind of the nail meets the glitter kind of thing or the sticker meets your nail bed it's not going to overly need a lot of filing as you can see so I went and did the rest off camera, then I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to clean this off. So don't worry too much about that obvious line because I'm going to be blending that in in a moment. And obviously don't, affect, don't be worried by the fact that the glitter looks dull now because as soon as you put your top coat on it will just bring that sparkle right back. That's what I'm going to show you now. See? See how quickly it comes back? So I'm just sort of applying this on here just because I wanted just to protect it a little bit more before I moved on. Obviously you don't need to put this on, I'm just doing this so, you know, if I make any mistakes I can wipe it off without affecting the look of it. So I'm using these um, like sponges, these were from Clear Jelly Stamper. It is actually dual ended and I'm just going to get some actually stamping polish and like work that into the sponge as you can see here and then I'm going across that line and that's kind of like you know like where the sea meets the sand and you kind of get that white like frothy wavy thing that's what I'm trying to get the look of here which you can do quite easily as well which I was pleased with so it just takes that line off it so you don't particularly massively notice it then I'm going to be using this Ajubis stamping plate and I'm just going to be taking this real cute starfish image off of here just to add some more sort of beachy details. I'm going to place that on the sand there and that looks super, super cute. So now I'm going to be working with these sort of shell pebbles and they are really, really pretty as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to get some out now and then I'm going to be applying just um, a normal top coat and basically I'm not going to be curing this because I'm going to place the pebbles on top of it and that will help kind of like it stick to the nail. Obviously you can use nail glue if you want. So here they are all out of their um, bag. And I'm going to try and pick one up to show you. <laughs> but basically like one side's like super pretty and you know got lots of colors and then another side it's quite it's different so you can see that there so like the one side it's you've got the colors that stand out and then you've actually got a bit of a more of a shell looking color so I'm actually going to use that side so I even love that about these that you can use either side it doesn't matter so these are quite thick they are thicker than the nail sticker so I'm not going to bother trying to encapsulate this in like I say I'm just going to kind of like put it into the top coat like so and then obviously when you apply your final top coat you can go around that if you want and kind of seal it in a little bit more and then <laughs> I'm going to use these pearls these were not from V Nail Art these were just something I got ages and ages ago from like a craft store just to add a little bit more of a beachy feel to it and then obviously once everything is in place, you want to go ahead and pop that into your lamp to cure. So that is it from me today, Jelly Babes. I really hope that you've enjoyed this design and I hope I've explained myself 
properly <laughs> um but if you've got any questions then just let me know in the comments box below and i'll do my best to respond to them so a huge thank you to uh, v, 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 v nail art for sending me out these products i really hope you like this design that i came up with i think it's super super pretty um, please let me know your thoughts as well so if you've not done so already please um, subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and yeah go check out this store it's a UK store and it's fabulous I'm so happy that I came across it so that's it from me take care see you in the next one bye